is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. Consciousness, I can somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister, almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late.
I thought you were gonna watch TV. Ah, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. into us. Hey, it's a TV jacker. I love this guy. Just got word that the feds dropped some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars wrote to the corporate media tell us that we're gonna get our fair share, that more is coming. Yeah, that's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this hellhole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned. And no one's coming to save us. So head over to Archer Square and get that food before the Reapers show up. Voice of Survival, out. Told you they drop food. Man, you must be out of your mind. You think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from pigging out, though, is it? <laughs> Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Oh, man, I get to have all the fun. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Uh, that sucks donkey balls. Hey, Cole, before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six-shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> Look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Come on! Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot if he walks me here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big, sloppy slice. Dripping with grease and pepperoni. And payday. Having a big, fat wad. Bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's, and I had to take a leak, and that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> you pissed all over him. Hey, he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome, until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome. <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. Ah, come on! He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. Hell, 
I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me 